What up, YouTube? I'm back with another video. This time is gonna be my first impressions of Last Rider Crowd. As of right now, we're just gonna go over his kit, see what he can actually do, and see what SG offers us right now on this video. Crowd, code number 00. Standing by. All systems online. Let's go, Siegfried. I'll show you how I do things. You know, the first thing I literally see, they first introduce him as a fucking project character from League of Legends. And he has an AoE horse like we wished for. What? What? You know, that, 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 that. I'm, I'm gonna question that for like a little bit. Okay. We'll go over there. He's a light knight. Very nice. A wild card Last capable of handling everything. everything. Hey, Crow attack Crow. He attacked himself. So I'm assuming this is like the alternate form, right? This is like, this is like the ML version, right? So this is like alternate universe Crow, right? So what does it mean by he impersonates Crow by wearing armor and attacks Crow's team? What? Ah, uh, I thought. This guy impersonates the real Crow and then makes his armor look like this, but that's not the case. What they mean is the enemy wore armor looking similar to this skin, to the, I mean not skin, this version. And then he got bopped. AKA enemy uh, enemy got he got bamboozled. He got bamboozled. That's what that's what and then, and then, of course, every single time they introduce a character, everything has to die. Because if characters don't die in the story, it's wrong. You won't sympathize with them and you wouldn't pull for them in the first place. Although I would pull for him anyway. This isn't this isn't a crowd video. This is a cigarette video. My first impressions isn't for crowd. It's for her. Beautiful life, beautiful day. Yep. I'm All right, let's go over his stats real quick. He is a light knight with the Pisces zodiac. I didn't say it this time. It's all good. All right. We did screw up. I know English. All right, chat is gonna start teasing me, saying it's, I used to call it piscus. <laughs> Damn it, chat. No more, no more bully, okay? So he has a decent amount of health at 6.4k as his base and 752 defense. It's actually quite high. Uh, his HP is on like just kind of nerval for like any knight ever. His defense is actually quite quite up there at 752, meaning that this man could probably pick up like. He doesn't even need to pick up a defense ring to be even fat. But probably, I don't even think, like, if it's Crow, he's probably going to be scaling on HP. My my hot guess. For sure. Uh, all his other stats, his speed is like, uh, 100. And his effect res is 18%. You know, I say 100 as though it's like a bad thing, just because then, one of the few things is, we love building units fast. But then when they have a base speed of 100, it's just like, uh, are you sure? But then he's a knight. So no matter how fast, like you don't even need a knight to be like slow or fast. You could build them with anything that you want. A knight is a knight and they're just going to kick your ass anyway. Knight meta. Yup. That's the four horsemen for you. He has the crit. What is it? The crit chance. Woo. Team. No, not team wide. It's actually a two slot imprint release. This is actually, this is pretty fat. All right, this is well imprint. Whenever you see crit chance, it's well imprint right here. And then he has self HP for his self imprint, not to half bad. It's like what is it? Self uh, eighty percent HP for a self imprint. Um, I'm pretty sure if you're gonna ever gonna use Crow, you're primarily gonna be looking at his crit chance a lot more. But his HP is probably gonna be pretty versatile as well, depending on what build you're actually trying to aim for. 
Uh, although this crit chance might be a little bit too much value, especially if you're going to try to put him with very specific teams, except for the four horsemen, because they don't need crit chance anyway. They're just going to do damage and they're going to kick your ass anyway, right? But we're going to see the rest of his kit. Let's see what, which imprint he would actually use. His skill 3, Mobile Weapon Siegfried, acquires 3 souls on a 7 turn cooldown. That's a long cooldown. Summons Siegfried and attacks all enemies before granting immunity to all allies for 2 turns. Granting immunity for all allies. I like that already. Immunity to all allies is sick. Penetrates defense. Okay, when it just says penetrate defense, it's 100%. It's like 100% penetration, so he just like straight up ignores, and, but cannot trigger a critical hit. Damage dealt is increased proportional to caster's max health. Very nice. And damage dealt increases every time this skill is used and can stack up to 3 times. He has a 6 turn cooldown without soul burn. So with soul burn, it's 4 turn. That's a long cooldown. It's not like he could reset this. Huh? Well, this is just a skill 3 though. It's not going to be too bad. Oh, so oh, so 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 I misclicked! <laughs> Crowl skill 2, cold number double O. After suffering an attack that targets all allies, another one of these, decreases the caster's skill cooldown by one turn. Okay, this is how he resets his S3 and grants a barrier to all allies for one turn. Barrier strength increases proportional to the caster's max health. Barrier effects can only be activated once per turn. Alright, so this is like probably one of those other effects again where, oh shit, if something attacks all the allies, this happens. He literally looks like another MO Haze, granting like immunity plus barrier. Okay, but this time not for, not on revive, but on everything else. Yo, you know what this already says, this straight up says, hey, don't, don't, don't ever use SSB. Just don't, just don't. Because SSB sucks when the enemy has immunity. Straight up. Okay. Okay, so let's 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 go this over correctly, right? For number one, his S2 will proc after suffering an attack. Right? So after they take damage. So SSB, SSB here, throws out her S2, barrier happens. That's a puny ass barrier. And how much HP was the crowd? The crowd was... If you guys don't see it down there, it's like literally red, right? But it's crossed out, it's 26.5k HP. And it gives hit, and then he gives his team a puny as fuck barrier. Oh. It's probably 10%. That looks like a 10% barrier. It's probably a 10% barrier. Right? A 10% barrier, I mean, for something that just takes like for one turn, I think this is like okay, but as if, if this is really considered as anti-cleave, I wouldn't really say so. I don't think this is like anti-cleave. It could be though, but I'm pretty sure there's probably a lot a better unit to probably do what Crowl does. But then you can't really neglect the fact that this guy also does damage and then he can also be very fat and he grants barrier plus immunity. And then you put him on Tywin Artifact and then Cleave dies. Big brain, that's how you do it. It's a kill. S1 attacks the enemy with a sword storm before increasing speed of the caster for one turn. 
Now, now it's a drive-by every single time. It's a shootout. It's a drive-by every single time. He just, he just, he just like grabs Zigbreed and just, he just yeet it. This is actually not too bad, especially if you're trying to have him rotate. This basically also means that he's going to be playing... I think he's going to be played more as a bruiser than if you were to even play him as a knight. This guy straight up... Why? What does it mean by plus 5? This is supposed to be percentages. Why is it plus 5? Hey, where's the percentage? This makes no sense. My math. Yo, I, I, okay. They pretty, I'm pretty sure this is percentage. This is not flat. If this ends up being flat, 30 damage. Oh my god, I will lose my shit. 적을 공격한 후 자신에게 1턴간 속도 증가를 발생시킵니다. 1 스킬 역시 자신의 최대 생명력에 비해 피량이 증가합니다. 라스트라이더 크라운은 아군 전체에 면역과 보호막을 발생시켜 보호할 뿐만 아니라 3스킬을 자주 발동시켜 전체 피해를 입힐 수 있는 영웅입니다. 라스트라이더 크라운은 9월 17일부터 만나실 수 있습니다. 고맙습니다. So what I can basically say about Kaz right now is that he can be introduced as either an anti-cleave unit or straight up a kill these bruisers kind of things because then it looks like he can actually rinse very nicely. He works really well against RB. He works really well against any unit that really just does like a shit ton of AoE. Any unit that does AoE, this guy would be there, right? So he just seems to be like another counter unit that is paired up that is paired up with maybe like Rowan or something so that your opponent can't pick and choose who to ban, right? Uh, Kraus damage as we saw it, if we analyzed it over this video, it was that I think he actually did a decent amount of damage, if I saw correctly. So, his damage was like... 4.8k on, uh, on the K-Ron, 4.8k on the Basar, 6.2. So, this is like 6.2 times 0.7 because reason why 0.7 is because then ssb transfers transferred over to pergus but let's assume that this is like an ssb that like let's say you take her as an example of a unit that took like mitigation damage like let's say the enemy has aureus and then you use ssb as an example as aureus i'm assuming crowd would probably do about like 3.8 so i don't like he's literally just seems like a frenzy unit in rta um, in Arena, he just seems to be like an anti-cleave unit, more so than anything else, or probably like anti-AoE. And then for Guild Wars, I can't really say too much about Guild Wars, because for Guild Wars, you don't really think too much about, um, AoEs at all. You just think about what element they are, right? What element, who they target, and how you can manipulate the AI. Um, if we're gonna talk about the applications of how I think Crow would be used... He most likely is going to be used against any kind of team. Whenever people end up like trying to cleave you, he would seem to be like a really good anti-cleave unit just because he grants barrier. Uh, another is that because then he's a knight, you can also grant him with like mitigation. So this is like another really good thing about like using him for anti-cleave. Or you could use him as a friendly unit versus frenzy unit in, in bruiser teams. If the enemy has AoE. Literally, it's just any situation that there's AoE, you would see Last Rider Crowd. If they don't have AoE and they have all single target, Crowd would end up being very awkward because then he might not be able to rotate enough turns, especially when his freaking S3 is a six turn cooldown. And even if you sober on him, it's a four turn cooldown. So this basically means that he has to rinse a total of four times if he's against like a very fat team that's all single target. Now, if he gets a, if he's against a team that has a lot of AOE, then we can actually see more applications of he actually being very good. Because otherwise, it seems like his S3 to, seems to be like a late scaling kind of thing. It's like a frenzy kind of skill. It literally straights up, it straights up says here, damage shell increases every time the skill is used, can't stack up to three times. How are you going to stack it up to three times if, you, if you're not going to use it against AOE, right? Otherwise, there's only other one other thing that I could really think about using him for and it's primarily for his immunity that immunity is insane having immunity basically means that you could use him against any debuff team but what debuff team doesn't have aoe right so i think he's gonna be a pretty nice unit he's gonna be a really good pickup but primarily i really think that he's gonna be insane just because he has so much protection for his team his shield his immunity for two turns okay it's not even one turn it's two 
That basically means they can't CC you for a while. And if they end up AoEing you, if they end up using your Dizzy, haha, bye Dizzy. Where are you? Where'd you go? Gone forever. Dead. Dizzy, gone. SSB, gone. What A other AO what 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 else AoEs a lot? I think that's it. I think I think it's just like mostly and primarily those two. Or like any other debuffer. He's gonna be pretty scary. I think that basically calls it. I'm actually looking forward to actually pull him. I'm gonna be trying to pull him on my Mystic Banners. Let's see if I can actually even get him at all. And maybe if I do get him, maybe we have a video for that one too. But until next time, that was my first impressions on Last Rider Crowd. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you click that like button, subscribe, and comment. And I think I just said that in the wrong order, huh? Damn, I fail as a YouTuber. All right, but that's that. Thank you very much. Uh, 30, uh, thank you very much for watching. <laughs>